Good day, students. So we are going to have the method of the squares for Richardson Company. What are the given item? We have the electricity cost and we have the machine hours. Those are the given. So in order for you to uh, make use of uh, your method of least square, you need to first know the cost deviation and how can we compute for the cost deviation. This we need to determine your y bar and the um, figure or the amount that we need to have will be the 18,000. And you divide it by the number of observation, 12. So you have your Y bar as 1,500. And this will be the basis for you to compute for the cost deviation. And the cost deviation will be, uh, you have 1,6 less 1,5. That would be 100. 1,510 less 1,500. So you have 10. So you have to uh, deduct one five from March to December, no? So we have the result, no? Uh, 50, 40, 20, 70, and so on and so forth. But this should be the result, okay? Zero. Then, what is the next thing that we have to compute for? The difference between your machine hour I, and which will be your cost driver, your X. No? And so what is our X bar? Our X bar is, again, the total of 31,200. We divide by the number of observation we have now 2600 as the x bar or uh, of the machine hours and we would now be deducting this no uh, from uh, the the figure of 26 will be um, subtracted from 2790 so we have 190 then you have 2680 less 2,600, so you have 80. Likewise, from March to December, you have to deduct its figure. Uh, from uh, This figure will be deducted with 2,600. So, again, the result will be zero. Okay? Now, what is the next step? After determining the deviation you know, of the activity and the cost, you can now square your activity deviation. So this would be the result of the when you square your activity deviation. And what is our activity deviation? We have 190 square, 80 square, 100 square, 90 square, 10 square. Okay. So this would be the result, okay? And what is the next thing that we have to do? We need to multiply, no? Alina, imo multiply natin. You have to uh, multiply the result of, nakalagay naman dyan eh, oh. Tingnan nyo, class. You have the result of column 4. Asa na column 4? Ito. 190. You multiplied by 100. Okay? Itong 190, or multiply mo ng 100, that will be 19,000. Okay? Then 80 multiplied by 10, 800. 0 multiplied by 0, 0. And then you have 100, you multiply by 50. And negative multiplied by negative is positive. So you have 5,000. So, you try each one, 90 multiplied by 4, 10 by 20, 150 by 70, 100 by 30. So, 
up to December and we have now the total of 54,600 of which this figure will be your basis in determining your variable rate. Once you get the variable rate, then no, we can have our you you need your 1500 and you need your 2600 again no this one then the computed variable rate of 0.44 then you have now your 356 as your fixed cost so what is our cost function y is equal to 356 plus 0.44 dollar per anong ginamit nating x multiplied by the machine hours okay so that will be your cost function using the method of least square any concern any question feel free to ask our group have a good day. Keep safe.